so in this video we'll be taking a look at the macros and how to put the reversal in it to get the reversal whenever the word document has been opened so now if you can search for auto macros you will see this microsoft documentation here you can see the macro name when it runs so whenever you if you, you know, open the word document a particular macro is run so macro is nothing but some sequence of uh, commands that's gonna execute whenever there is an action has been occurred so you can see auto exit auto close auto open so we'll be creating this uh, code here using msf venom so we'll be creating a, a normal reversal so this platform windows is optional so minus f format as vba exe so in the msf console you can also search for office macro so it will create a, a macro file for you so here you can see this is some obfuscated encoded payload and here this is the macro so here you can see uh, auto open and auto underscore open so this auto underscore open is a custom function and uh, here you can see the random function name so here you can see uh, the file name random file name dot exe this payload gets uh, decoded and it will be saved in this file name and gets run whenever we open this one so we need to copy this into the macro editor of our word document so copy this one so let's go and create a new word new blank word and save this one save this to desktop as under the extension dot m so here you can see word macro enabled template so pawn so let's say pawn pawn dot dot m so this one now you can uh, view macros and you can choose this macros in pawn dot dot m template and you can create a new one so uh, you can also press the keyboard shortcut alt press f11 and here you can see this is the uh, vv editor and here you can in this project pawn so let's go and double click on this this document and paste the uh, macro code here so we'll be uh, modifying something that is uh, remove this code and say private sub document underscore open so save this as document underscore open so this is like whenever you open this file this gonna get executed if you uh, leave, uh, leave it as sub auto open uh, it won't work it did not work so that's why put this one private sub document underscore open now save this one and close this and we need to copy the payload here so copy this payload and paste here and save this one now let's also start the listener and set the error host and the error port and start the listener now let's go and close this one so let's open this pawn.m and here you can see it says security warning macros have been disabled so in the word doc, in the microsoft office macros have been disabled by default so if you click on this enable content uh, yes the victim you send this document should click on this enable content so enable content and here you can see we got the session open so let's exit for now so here you can see this is some junk code we can't understand so victim might get some uh, suspicion so what you can do is you can press ctrl a and choose this color to white so it will be uh, invisible and you can say first let's 
turn back to black and before this one what we can do is uh, we can say pages intentionally left blank for uh, to edit later please do do not delete them so you can uh, put it like this one and make a new page so this uh, type of text sorry and choose this color as white color and here choose this color as black color so normal victim will see and treat them as some blank pages now we need to save this one Save this on desktop. Uh, first, let's copy all of this one into this document and save this as datum and save this one. So, page is intentionally left blank and uh, our listener is running. So, let's run this one and here. Uh, you can also specify that enable macros to reveal all of the content or to see all of the content so whenever you click on enable content and we get the shell uh, let's also go to virus total and upload our datum file to see the detection rate So these antivirus engines analyze the VBA source code and detects whether it is malicious or not. So here you can see there is a lot of detection. In the upcoming videos, we will be seeing a technique called VBA stomping. In that, we will be reducing this detection rate. So here you can see 36 out of 61 engines have been flagged as have been flagged our file as malicious. So let's stop this one and also we'll be seeing such office macro use 5 and set a report 1234 and if you run this one the file will be created at home username msf4 local msf.document So let's copy to our desktop So paste here So run this And if you open this one So here you can see this is like a template The Metaspite has been created Attention this document was created by newer version of Microsoft Office Macros must be enabled to display the contents of documents. So enable content and we get the shell. And if you go to macro editor and you can see uh, it also checks the operating system as Mac and it will execute the function execute for OS X. Otherwise, it's going to execute for Windows.
and no one gonna use the word document for the Linux because they're gonna use LibreOffice. So this is about the uh, basics of this word macro, and also you can use the tools like ORE VBA. So you can install these tools from ORE tools GitHub repository, and if you specify ORE VBA msf dot docm. And here you can see it lists out all of the functions. So it, it uses auto open and create object and it also uses shell which is highly suspicious and run command write etc. So you can also decode these hex and basic first things as well. If you want to look so here you can see it has been uh, extracted the our VBA source code. So we can also use a tool called pcode dump msf dot dot m doc m. So it also uh, disassembles the VBA source code. So in the coming videos, we'll be seeing a technical VBA stomping. In that, we'll remove this VBA source code, but still we execute the our macro code. And that technique also reduces this uh, antivirus detection as well.